Hi, this is Scott McDonald from SB McDonald Custom Instruments, and the people at my side asked me to demonstrate the installation of one of their products into this guild guitar today at my shop here in Huntington, New York. Um, this is the Acoustic Trio, and it's a very exciting piece of the technology. It's a guitar transducer that goes in the bridge, and it uses a supercapacitor in lieu of a 9-volt battery. And you plug this in using this AC adapter and this quarter-inch guitar cable, goes right in for 60 seconds of AC charge, you'll get 16 hours of play with full active electronics. It'll last about 135 years, so you'll never need to worry about any kind of batteries or anything like that. It's very uh, ecologically conscious, and it also eliminates the potential of a battery falling out of its cradle or, or uh, Velcro battery bag and flopping around in travel and such. Uh, I do get a lot of guitars damaged by batteries that fly around inside. So it's very interesting and it's very high quality and we're going to go over to the shop, uh, to one of my benches, and we're going to do the installation. Why don't you come with me? This is our product, the MySci Acoustic Trio. Let me just get the pickup out of the box. There we go. Put it down here. The first thing we need to do, and I've already done this, is I've taped off the hole in the uh, end block. Now, usually an acoustic guitar comes with a tapered end pin that you can pull out that is not glued into place. You'll have a little hole. You're going to want to go in with uh, a series of drill bits, if that's what you have. And your, uh, your end pin hole is going to be smaller than the half inch required, so you're going to want to start with a smaller bit and work your way up to the half inch bit. I don't use those. I have a tapered reamer. It's really high quality that will go in to that little hole and make a perfect half inch. I've pre-taped the hole. I'm going to go into that smaller. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to drill my way through right now. And always wait till it stops before you take it out so that you don't skitter across the finish or anything. Now, let's take a look at that hole that we just drilled. You can see the tape. Green tape, the green painter's tape, will not damage the finish the way some of the heavier adhesives might. There you go, that's as pretty as a picture right there. Okay, let's spin this back into place. The next thing we need to do is drill the hole for the, uh, for the saddle transducer in the slot. Okay. Now, some slots are going to be 3 30 seconds, some are going to be eighth inch. I can actually tip this towards the camera for you a little bit so you can see it. This is a 3 30 second slot. Martins use this as well. Taylors use eighth inch. So you can want to use the appropriate bit for the job. You also want to go in at a slight angle because you don't want the transducer to come up through the hole and then bend 90 degrees because it can damage the electronics. So we're going to go at a slight angle, and then I'm going to round off that corner. You don't want to be too long of an angle because you could go into the X brace. So you want to be just about 45 degrees or so. Perfect. Went right through. Okay, so now we have the hole for the transducer. And I put it on this side because this player is a lefty. Normally I put it on this side. If you don't have a Fordham flex tool or a Dremel to round off that whole edge, you can use a little rounded diamond file like that, right at a 45 degree angle to take away the sharp edge of the hole. I figure, you know what, I bought these expensive tools, I may as well use them. So I'm going to go in with a little dental burr and round off that hole. It's nice and smooth, so there's no sharp edges to dig into the transducer. Now, the way to get that in, because it can be a little tricky, sometimes people can struggle trying to get it up through the hole. The way I do it is I'll go in and I'll hold it between my fingertips like this, just so I can see the little bit of that silver edge. And I'll go to one of the bridge pinholes and stick it into the bridge pinholes and I can see it. And then I say, oh, it's only half an inch away from that pilot hole at about a 45 degree angle. And and she's coming through. 
just a little bit more. And there we are. Didn't take too long. And we have plenty of saddle slot past where the uh, base E string, or in this case, the high E string is going to be. Sometimes if your string is right over the very end, you want to drill just a little bit of a relief hole in the other side and tuck the end of this transducer into that so that you have the string over an active part. But that's not the case here. So we're going to just put that back into the slot. And you need to remember that when you put the saddle back in, you have to shave the saddle down on a belt sander the same thickness of the transducer or else you'll be raising the action. So don't forget to lower that saddle slightly. So we are now pre-drilled here pickup is installed. The next thing we need to do is get the jack through the hole. I need to get my washers here. Just bear with me. There we go. And one of the things that a lot of people don't have arms that can go all the way to the, uh, to the, to the uh, end block. And it can be very vexing to get that through the hole. Any kind of rod that's quarter inch, my little mirror actually works perfectly. You can go right in and the jack will actually slip right onto that rod and it'll guide right through like that. Now you'll notice at this point, I'm going to spin this for you, you'll notice it's not sticking out far enough. So we're going to need to dial back that nut and washer until we have just the right amount sticking out. You don't want the fat part showing at all, but you want to be very close to that fat part. I think this is probably going to be right about where we need to be. And that'll happen sometimes. You'll drop it, like I just did. There we go. That's a little too much. Almost there. I'm adjusting it inside as I push the rod back and forth. And we're right at the exact length now that we need. So we're going to come in with our washer and our nut and get it finger tight. And then I'm going to grab myself a half inch nut driver. You can also use a wrench, but the reason I like nut drivers is they don't slip. And I'm just going to get enough torque and that firms right up very beautifully. And you'll see we have a lot of the shaft sticking out here. Now there's also a hole going through the shaft of the jack. And you can take a small Allen key wrench and put that through and hold it in place if you're using a traditional wrench and that'll help you snug it up if you can't reach this with your hand. Okay, and then the last thing is the strap button. And these tend to come loose, so sometimes I'll, I'll just put a little bit of a pressure with the plier and just give it a little twist so that it locks in. Okay, well, this pickup is now installed. The only thing I have to do at this point would be to put in a little clip to hold it down against the back or the side of the guitar so the wire doesn't vibrate. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.